It's the homie Kennard with this morning's vlog. Yo, what's good? It's Tuesday. I hope that you're having a dope start to your week. Uh, Monday for me was a lot of the same that kind of carried over from the weekend. I started up another ad for uh, the Crooklyn Freestyle that I did. Uh, I kind of wanted to get that old school feel out there for the people and see how they felt about that. Uh, and so I've just been replying to people that have been commenting and liking and sharing, you know, uh, showing gratitude because at this particular time, like, I ain't even worried about whether or not it's cool. I want to show gratitude because people's time is valuable, right? And you're saying, well, what do you mean? How is their time valuable? I know my time's valuable. I don't have, I don't have the time, like, like if it's a woman and she got booty pics or, or she just looking good in her photos, but it doesn't, you know, give me any real value, like I don't even follow that. You know, I don't have time, you know what I'm saying, to be looking at you and being distracted by how good you look. Hey, that don't bring me no value. So I unfollow those accounts. Honest. Like, it's not personal. I don't have time to be looking at you because you cute. That, that don't work for me because it ain't making me no money. So usually who I follow has to do with, you know, am I learning something from them? Are we close personal friends? You, am I getting industry knowledge? Am I up on the trends in the business that I'm trying to run? If I ain't got nothing to do with it, I don't have the time. I'm busy trying to make some money. That being said, if I put my content in front of other people, I can only imagine what 15 seconds is for them. It's valuable. And if I can hold their attention for a minute and a half and then they come to my page and they drop a comment, I got to show them love. Yo, I appreciate that you took the time to drop a comment on the boy. As well, you threw in a dope compliment. Yo, you have given me the compliment of the highest order. Now, all that being said... It's upon me, the artist, that if I'm putting my music out there, I'm putting my business out there, that now I have to do the real work, which is building the relationships. Look, the truth is, is you know, I'm not Jay-Z. I can't, I can't afford to just be like, oh, here, this is for you. I'm Jigga. I ain't even got to talk to you. No. no. I'm building a fan base. These people don't know me. You know, I'm not Busta Rhymes. I can't just drop, you know, a track. And not even that. Busta, when he drop it, he's marketing. He's running advertising. He may not personally respond, but he may have some people responding for him. But I'm not, I'm not at that level. So as an artist, my job is to build a relationship. Same as, as if you perform a show, you should stay after the show to interact with the fans, to talk with them. They may want to pick up some merchandise. They may want to know more about your story, your journey. So that's pretty much where I'm focused at. In between that, uh, I'm... I'm I'm thinking I may go live while I try and record some of my, my demo music at the crib and, and get some reactions. I don't I don't often go live on my process, but I may open that up, you know, to, to see if, if people are interested in seeing how I kind of come up with what it is I'm doing. So uh, Tuesday is, is probably going to be more of the same. Uh, I'm moving campaigns around. Uh, I'm reallocating some money and now I'm about to get into some retargeting for the individuals that like what it is that I've done that's paid attention. I'm going to run some ads to give them some education, right? I'm going to go into why I did. I ain't no joke because I've seen some, some people like I was apprehensive, like, like come on, you know, like. This is the God MC. It's Eric B. Raquel. I ain't no joke. Like, like for me, I'm going to talk into why I went about that process. I'm going to run that as an ad to people that, you know, have liked what I've done and hope to nurture the relationship. Bring them on board. Yo, I got more stuff for you. And so uh, I'm super lit. I spent the last three years creating content. And now I'm in a situation where I can kind of share it, right? I got this whole, uh, man, I 
probably got a year's worth of content that I could drop every week that I ain't even got to create nothing new because I just was sitting on it. I ain't know what to do. I just turned the camera on and was like, yo, maybe I'll use it one day. And now I'm in a situation where I'm like, oh, if I run ads, I can educate, let people know who I am and, and tell them my story and, and let them get to know who I am as an artist and how I got here. So... I'm super lit, man. This is probably the most excited I've been in a long time about my music and sharing it with people, only because now I'm in a position where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just run these ads and, and kind of see how they go. So that being said, look, it's Tuesday. I hope it's a dope day for you. Let's get to it, man. Let's get to the grind and do what we gotta do to be successful. It's the homie Kennard. I'm out.